Hello, welcome to Moody Blooms. Thanks for joining us on our Fiddly Fig Propagation Series. Now these are our babies that we cut about 10 months ago. They spent about two months growing roots in our water, and then about eight months ago we transferred them to the soil. As you can see, they're doing really well. There's lots of new growth and new leaves, and they're nice and happy. They have been watered about one to two cups every one to two weeks. Now normally I water my larger fiddly fig plants about once a week, but these seem to not need as quite as much water. So about, again, one to two cups of water every one to two weeks. And I place them in bright indirect light the entire time. So you never want them to be in direct sun because they can burn the leaves. So my baby leaves tend to get these little brown spots. You'll see them on here as they grow. And as they get larger, they, they tend to disappear. So I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, you're welcome to leave some comments below and maybe fill me in on that, but I'm not quite sure because they eventually disappear, so I haven't been too concerned about it, but they're doing really well. Now many of you have asked how fast the fiddly fig cutting will grow, so I thought you'd enjoy this comparison. This is our two foot cutting that we did about eight months ago, it was potted. This is about two and a half years, and it's a four foot tall plant. It's growing really well, it's nice and healthy, and as you can see right here is where it was originally cut. It was a cutting that we cut off right here, and this has continued to grow into a nice full plant. Now check back for our video on how to shape and train into a nice straight full tree. For another comparison, we have our two eight month cuttings in the middle. To the left, we have our two and a half year old four foot plant. And then the plant on the right is about five years. And this particular plant we've propagated a few times. You'll notice both of these cuttings on the ground and the black pots are from this plant as well as the four foot plant on the left. When I bought this plant about five years ago, it was about two to three feet tall, and it's grown really well into a nice, healthy tree. Every one of my cuttings has come from this plant, and it has continued to flourish and do really well. Also keep in mind that this one has two stalks on it. It's two separate plants in here, so you could combine two cuttings if you'd like to make it a little bit more full. As a reminder, you always want to pot with good drainage. You don't want any standing water. And if you remember in our last video, we potted those plants into the gray pots that had a reservoir in the bottom that collected some water, and it attracted some bugs, and you don't want that. It wasn't a good fit for the fiddly fix. So again, well-draining pot, no standing water. Thank you so much for watching, and please like this video if it was helpful for you, and go ahead and subscribe if you want to continue to get updates of the progress of these beautiful fiddly figs. Thank you so much for joining us on our fiddly fig propagation series. Hope you'll join us again.